Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Snap. Today we're doing the toxic hazmat approach inspired by one of my subscribers. Thank you very much and I thought I'd give you a shout out today due to the fact I wanted to try one of the decks that was on Kamataj. Today is not the hot location day but I wanted to give this deck a go because I have not done it in a very long time. Thank you to Cabby26. I'll leave your name just on the screen right now. So that way you are mentioned in the video and everyone can see that you are an inspiration for this deck. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll get straight to the deck tech and then we'll move straight on to the gameplay video. So starting off, we are going to go with our hazmat and my new variant of the Thunderbolts variant, Luke Cage. Oh man. I thought I'd spoil myself just a little bit with this encounter of the cage. It looks absolutely amazing. I have seen another variant where it's just his full face with the bullets coming down. But this one, I wanted to really get into the groove of getting Luke Cage becoming the master of this deck today. Oh man, and it was fantastic. Absolutely loved it. We've got the Iron Heart to spread out. So it is a Silver Surfer Wong Luke Cage hazmat deck. So we'll keep that in mind. Iron Heart to buff up the cards in the other locations where required. We've got the Mystique, which goes very well with our Wong combo. And that's roughly about it for that combo in regards to that. Or you can, no, or you can do a Sarah if it ever comes to that. If you get a Sarah, an early start with Asylum perhaps, but there is a chance that may happen. We've got the Brood. Brood is very well with the Absorbing Man combo. He also works very well with the Silver Surfer and the late gameplay of Magic herself. Works out very fun. And I do thoroughly enjoy a nice brood combo just to try and get that priority. Sometimes you got to remember, even I still do it sometimes, priority is not always the best. With Hazmat, on the final of turns, you've got to play it carefully, especially with their Elias. You've got to make sure priority, they, if they have more cards on the field, make sure they get all their cards reduced with hazmat. Or if you have priority and they've filled up most of their board, take priority as fast as you can. I've learned that a few games and <laughs> took me a little bit to understand what I was doing in regards to that, but I've got it. I finally got it. Our boy Luke Cage, of course. That is our hero of the deck and stopped our cards from getting reduced in power. Wong to increase our power of the Silver Surfer and the Iron Heart combo as well. Here's our beautiful Noir variant of Absorbing Man. He can go one of three ways. He can go with the Silver Surfer, he can go with the Brood, or he can go with the Iron Heart combo. If you really feel lucky, you can try the White Tiger if you don't draw any of the others. So that's another variation Absorbing Man can be used in. Now, White Tiger was another inspiration I got from another fan of the channel. I very love this one with the Odin combo, just in case some other things don't work out you need to spread across the board. Works out very good and I do love the 5-8 White Tigers. Very fun, very fun indeed. Sarah, for the increase and more plays of the three cost cards, we can play three cost cards on turn six, or if you want to go into turn seven, you can play a possible Odin with a Sturfer on the Wong and you can get huge amount of powers down with the Odin. Absolutely huge. It is bonkers. But let me tell you, I had fun today with this one. It worked out very well and I'm looking forward to see how this one turned out. Nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this incredible deck called the Toxic Space Surfing. Enjoy and I'll see you at the video. See you there. Alrighty, let's get straight to these matches with the Toxic Space Serving Silver Surfer with the likes of the Absorbing Man Brood Combo and the Odin and White Tiger Mix Matchup. Let's get into it. Jo Jotaro Kujo, welcome to the party and welcome to everybody watching today. Let's have some fun and let's do some toxicity increasing. <laughs> Has Matt. Let's see how we go today. Oh, okay, the sunspot to start. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's make this a poisonous environment. The Bifrost, okay, that could come in handy a bit later on. Oh, okay, you're gonna get countered by 
loot cage, my friend. So that's all good. Oh, Onslaught Citadel. Very interesting. I think for this matter, I'm going to put magic on the left side. So that way, Lichu Gilly is not a huge concern. Oh, you can take all those rocks. <laughs> not a problem. Not a problem at all. Then we're going to sneak in at Wong on the right side, and we should be good, hopefully. As long as they don't have any too many counter cards, we're in a fantastic spot. We'll go with the Wong. Luke Cage is going to come in handy later on. I'm going to have to leave it till later, just in case they have any rogue combos or anything like that. This could be a high evolutionary deck, so we've got to be careful. Oh my goodness, there's the mistake. That's great. I think what I might do here is actually play Sarah on the right side and give up on Mystique, just in case they try anything sneaky. Oh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Luckily for me, I did do that, so that's good. That's very, very good. What we will do here is... I'm still feeling pretty confident. It's just the uh, Eliath combo I need to watch out for. We'll go with Mystique. Hmm. Eliath is my biggest concern here. I think we'll play Luke Cage here. We'll go Mystique. Luke Cage. Hazmat is still an option. I'm just concerned if they're still going to play um, a life now or not. It's the either turn 6 or turn 7 play. It's my biggest concern. I think what I will do is play Hazmat instead. And then leave it as is. Beautiful. Okay. We do have the Odin. We just got to be careful how this plays out now. Come on. Come on, internet. We need you. Oh, it actually did turn off. All right. Let's try and have a look at this one more time. This one. If you want to go here, this will work. Okay. I can't do anything. That's good. Whoa, what is going on? Uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one. That's all I can do. I, I don't know if this is going to work or not because the game really stuffed up. <laughs> okay, let's go. Game decided to reconnect at the last minute. Come on, Absorbing Man into Ironheart. Let's go. Odin, straight into it. Yes. Here we go. We are worthy. Yes! Oh my goodness. I think we can do this. Yes! And we're straight into the middle. Mmm! Oh, wow. Excellent. What a play. Even though the internet's stuffed up, we still got him. Beautiful. Iron Heart into the Absorbing Man, into the Odin, into the White Tiger. Still smashing it out with the Luke Cage Wombo combo. Excellent, and apologies for the internet connectivity. Some days are better than others. Let's move on to the next match. All right, let's keep it cooking. See if we can still do these Wombo combos, even with the Cosmo still denying us the play. Sarah came in clutch there fantastically. Welcome Southern Gas Carrion, and welcome to the party. Okay, but the Nexus to start, interesting. And they're not a Thanos deck. All right, this is gonna be tricky. Very tricky. Oh, it's a discard deck. All right, now I've got to be careful. Oh, Rickety Bridge. Okay, even more interesting. We do have the magic play though, so this could be good. Multiple man. Oh wow, that's an excellent absorbing man. All right, I'm gonna play magic in the middle due to the fact if they try and destroy anything and play Phoenix Force in a Black Knight discard deck seems very strange to me, but we shall see. 
Ah, there's the venom. That's a very weird play. Very weird play. Maybe they're trying to buff up their null. That's my only concern I can really think of for doing that one. Oh, right. That is interesting. I think what we will go for here is play Brood on the right, and then play Absorbing Man on the left, and then we can still be in this with a good chance. There's the Gladiator, okay. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the two power, but <laughs> not much we can do there. Okay, now we're going to be extra careful how this plays out. We do have the Sarah play. I think for now we'll play the Absorbing Man. So we can still play a Silver Surfer. Because this will be very powerful for us. Agent Coulson. Okay, interesting. Oh, not bad. Interesting. Very interesting play. Okay. We don't have anything else cooking for us, but what we can do is try and get all the three costs into the middle. I think I'll do Silver Surfer. I can't really do Hazmat yet, because that's a... Oh, it's a 50-50 if I draw Luke Cage, so... Ugh. Okay. I need priority. That's my biggest concern here. I think I'm going to go Silver Surfer. And that's it. And then we'll try for Odin play. Lady Sith. Okay, very good, very good. Oh, right. Oh, not bad. We do have the Wong, but that's not very good for us. Hazmat does absolutely nothing. Oh, wow. Oh, we still got him. Honestly, I was going to get to the point where we may retreat myself, but he left for us. Excellent. Wonderful. Let's move straight into the next match. Silver Surfer with the loop cage rolling around in this toxic space. Loving it. Tell me, you guys into the Hazmat loop cage dash? Dex, and if you had much success, I would gladly love to know. Welcome, Penny Lee Dangers, and welcome to the party. Right, we have the Brood combo with Wong. Excellent. Thanos, no Thanos. And we've got the magic. Oh, yes. We're in a fantastic spot once again. <laughs> All right. Slightly move this up just a tad. There we go. Perfecto. Oh, and we got the vault. Oh, this is interesting. You know what? Let's put the brood into the vault and we should be fantastic. The magic can go on the either middle or left, depending on where they play and what they have. I'm going to try and get around this deck even without hazmat or loot cage. The purpose is be quite a variety type play here. <clears throat> and hopefully we don't have any more internet issues. Oh, hello. All right, we've got a, uh, <laughs> we've got a combo player here. A little copycat. <laughs> Interesting. You know what? I'm actually going to go for the Absorbing Man combo here. Absorbing Man Brood. Let's see if they do the same thing. Ours is a bit vice versa, a bit different, but if they do decide playing the right, it could be in a bit of trouble. Oh, Sebastian Shaw. Ah, very good. We will play Magic on the left side. I know they can still do their Silver Surfer type of play, but I'm playing for the long game. If they snap, I leave. Simple. I know they're doing the Silver Surfer, but I reckon we will win in the long run if we do the Sarah. If we have to do Sarah, I'm not too sure. We'll see what they play. 
then I'm going to see if I can counter that. Because if they decide to play in the middle, we have got a home stretch here. Oh, he's playing an early Silver Surfer. Interesting. Right. We do need to play this off very good here. Oh, we got the hazmat combo too. Interesting. I think we're going to have to do Sarah and hope for the best. Oh, there's their Wong. Okay, they're doing the Odin play. Okay, very... Oh, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, we've got the hazmat Luke cage combo. Oh, uh, depending which one we've got, that's my biggest concern. I think I'm going to go with the Wong into Mystique into Surfer play. See if I can out-muscle them. Alright, let's try the out-muscle combo. I believe they won't have a life in this. They could have a Cosmo, but... <laughs> we shall see. Oh, they're going straight for it. Alright, I think we got him. Are ye worthy? We got him. Excellent. <laughs> I love watching these playoffs. These are excellent. That's a lot of power though, sheesh. There's one location down. Oh my goodness, we just win this too. Wow! Oh, 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 oh. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Victory. Love it. Good job, Penny. Penny all the dangers. That was a fantastic match. That's excellent. I know what did just happen. <laughs> that was incredible. Wow. All right, I'll take that. Hey, I'll definitely take that. That was so close. I was beginning to doubt my own actions there. It's like, wait a minute. I thought I instantly just lost and made the worst mistake. But I did not. We came through and triumphed. Let's move on to the next match. And have some more fun. All right. Welcome, Oliver. And welcome to the party. Oh, reversing. I believe it might be a bot. Excellent. Nothing wrong with that. Have a bit more fun too. Excellent. Tell me, have you guys picked up that new US agent card? The what the effect was ongoing. Four, five, or six cost cards have reduced power by three. Seems intriguing, but I'm not picking that up just as of yet. I am hoping to have a lot of fun with this inspired deck by the likes of Cavi26, who used this in the Kamataj hot location. I slightly mixed it up just a little bit with the White Tiger, but I had some inspiration as well with the White Tiger too. So, lots of fun. Oh my goodness, we've got the Red Skull. <laughs> Excellent. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to play the Brood on the left side. Oh, it's a bounce deck. Okay. Now we're going to be careful how this one plays out too. That's an interesting bounce deck to be quite honest with you. Right. Clintar. Interesting. I think we'll still go with the Wong on the right side. We still be, should be in a secure position. We would just need the Luke Cage to secure down the location. Otherwise, right now, we're still okay. For now. I am questioning now if this is a bot or not now, because they are taking their time. <laughs> I could be wrong. This could be just a person who just has a picture of the NPC background that is very generic. Oh, right. Okay, that's definitely a bot. <laughs> they would never do the hood into the bast. No way. All right, let's see if we can get the Luke Cage. 
that a three six or four six? Okay. Oh, we got the white tiger. This is absolutely fantastic. All right. I think we'll just start off with the white tiger combo. Mix around with no surfer because we've lost all our broods. Unfortunately, I didn't want to use too many of the broods because of Clintar. That kind of screwed us over, but that's fine. Black Thorn, not bad. Go White Tigers, away! All right. Ah, Sarah, you're a bit too late. I'm sorry. You're way too late. And then we're just going to go with the Odin play and hope for the best, I would believe. Because Silver Surfer right now, we have no other three cost cards on the board. They got eaten away by Clintar. Their board is more of a bounce type of deck with the likes of Bast. And they've also got the Black Swan and a 10 power Symbiote. Which even a Shang-Chi would still make me kind of losing away. Oh, the Rocket Raccoon. Very good. I am Iron Man. Oh, Iron Man play. That's a fantastic play, friend. That is a beautiful play. Go, Odin. Are ye worthy? Are ye worthy? Are ye worthy? Get all those tigers on the left side. Come on. Yes. Oh, what a legendary play. Victory. Even the Odins and the White Tigers have come through clutch once again. If we missed out on that one White Tiger, we would have definitely lost that comeback combo. Good try, Oliver. But today, we have taken this game from you. GG. All right, let's keep it coming. Keep moving up these ranks slowly but surely, but with some persistence and some patience. Welcome, boy, Plaboon, and welcome to the party. Never heard that name before, but it sounds interesting. No Thanos. Right, we've got the Hazmat Luke Cage combo and the Absorbing Man with the Silver Surfer. Excellent. Let's see what they've got cooking. Kung Lung is an interesting location. For sure, if they're going to play Move. I'm just going to keep my eyes about me. My wits about me, I should say. <laughs> all right, let's get this Toxic City going. Oh, it's a discard. All right, all right. Okay, let's see how this cooks out. Nova Rama. Oh, boy, this is perfect. Yes. Magic. Sarah, okay. Magic, magic. No, we've got the Odin. Interesting. We'll skip turn two. Oh, wow. All right, they got the Red Hulk cooking. I think we'll go straight into a Luke Cage. <clears throat> oh, right. They've got a very good discard thing going on here. They're in a pretty good spot. I'm going to think we're going to go straight into the Wong play because we can't really play anywhere else. <laughs> this Asteroid M is a bit uh, a bit rough on us, actually. Oh, dear. This this could be a bit uh, disastrous. Oh, we got the magic, though. Okay, this is good. This is good. Uh, I think I'm going to have the magic on the right side, though. You know what? No. I think I'm actually going to do Sarah in the middle, so that way we can still do a hazmat combo. Okay, there's the black cat. Very good. We do have the Luke Cage. Silver Surfer into Absorbing Man really does nothing at all. Hazmat into Absorbing Man. Does that do much at all? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, so that'd be 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5. Or we can go straight into Ironheart after that too. I'm tempted to try this. Sounds fun, because I want to try and spread all the location with power. Only problem is, is the um, Hella. And we don't win even if they do have the mighty Red Hulk too. That's my biggest concern. 
Uh, I really need to fill up this location. That's the thing. I'm going to go here, here. Ironheart does nothing. I think we'll just go here and see what happens. I think we lose this though, but I'm going to play it out. Oh, okay. Well, actually, thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> My Silver Surfer works out clutch here. Oh my goodness. This is actually really clutch. <laughs> oh, dang it. But I think we... Actually, no, we think we win now because of that Magneto play. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, boy Plaboon. I appreciate the uh, mix-up because Silver Surfer right in the middle. You just made us get that extra power that we definitely needed right there. Oh, man. Wow. Thank you. I appreciate the mix-up, but I was I was expecting the big boy Hulk to come out for that one for sure. But hey, Magneto was your choice and that was your downfall. <laughs> Could be wrong though. See what else we can cook with this Luke Cage combo. Welcome a name I don't know and welcome to the party. All right. Okay, interesting hand. Looks like I'm gonna probably play Magic this game. Not a Thanos deck again too, so that's good. Destroy deck. Okay. Savage land. Oh dear, this could be bad for us. It's good for hazmat though, but not good for space issues. Magic's going to definitely have to make a appearance here. If we can get hazmat into their Deadpool if they're playing that, we could have a shot. But if they play that early, we're in trouble. <laughs> Oh, okay, it's the hood. Never mind. We're in not bad of a spot as I thought we would be. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'm going to do that because I don't want him to draw any more cards. Never mind. Too late. <laughs> oh, it's actually a bounce deck. Interesting. All right. I think we're going to have to start developing Wong now. You know what? I think we'll develop Brood. So that way we can at least get a power a power swing. We need to get priority to start off. Because we unfortunately we do not have the hazmat in this game. Interesting. Do we have priority here? We do. Excellent. Oh man, we're in a fantastic spot here. I'm not going to snap, because I want to see how this turns out. I'm looking for fun of this one. We'll go with the Wong here. And then worst case, we can easily do a backup Mystique in the middle. If he decides to play the cards I'm thinking of. We won't do Absorbing Man, that, that's just crucial for space. We cannot do that. Or White Tiger. White Tiger's a bit of a downfall for us. Silver Surfer would be an amazing pull right now. Okay. He's got a full hand too. Oh, it's going to be tough. And again, he is taking his time. Let, let's, let's think this over real quick. He is taking his time. Mm, Luke Cage is going to give away what we're doing. Wong. Absorbing Man. Absorbing Man? Nah, we need Wong. But the space issue is the problem here. We can't afford to do that. This guy will have to save for later, just in case they try and have a sneaky rogue or something. There's the demon, okay. Right. There is our mystique. We could go straight into the hazmat now. I think we will. Yeah, I think we definitely will. Oh, hold on, we can go mystique into Luke Cage for priority.
Actually, you know what? I think Iron Heart for priority might be the best. Yeah, let's try this. I'm going to try this instead. I'm trying a mix up type of play here. So that way we can do the hazmat regardless of whatever happens. He does realize this is turn seven, doesn't he? <laughs> Excellent. Okay, we're in a fantastic spot. Okay, we do have priority. This is fantastic for us. Oh, no, we don't. Ugh. But we can still do the hazmat play. We can do hazmat. So that'd be 4, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 13. That's that, that's that, that's that. He will not have a chance with that. And then we can go loot cage, and then we're in a fantastic spot. All right, this is a late snap, I know, but uh, we'll see how we go. Hazmat for sure is going to win it. Oh, he's going to continue playing. All right, let's go. Let's go. Goodbye. Boom, 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 boom. Luke Cage, bam. Right across the board. Excellent. Got him. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, take home those cubes. Thank you very much, good sir. Let's keep it cooking. Excellent. Straight up to 74 mid. Let's go. All right, let's do, let's keep going with this. I'm having a lot of fun with this one. All right, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, give me all those cubes. Excellent. Yeah, I haven't played much of the hazmat wong combo. I really let's move on to the next game and let's get going. <clears throat> Welcome, Gulf St Stream. Are you a Thanos? Yes, you are. Okay, we're gonna have some fun today. Right. Magic is gonna be a very handy one later on here. Wakanda is good for our brood. So that makes it not hugely concerning. Shadowland. I could use that to my advantage, especially with hazmat. This is gold, very golden. I think what we might do here is possibly go magic into brood, into sterra. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, he's doing a rant type of deck. I think I'll go with the Lake Hillos magic, so that way he doesn't get any crazy nonsense with his um, magic stones, the infinity stones, that is. Interesting. I think we'll still go the Brood on the left, even though there is Cull Obsidian in the middle. That is absolutely fine. Oh, we've got the loot cage too. That, that's actually perfection. We do not have the mystique, unfortunately. But that's all right. I think we'll go Sarah in the middle and see how we go. Because I, I have a feeling they might play a big red Hulk or they'll play something else. There's the blob, okay. We're going full on power. Interesting. Right. Oh, we got the Silver Surfer. Even better. We could easily go with the Wong to Hazmat. Or we can do a Luke Cage first into Wong, into Hazmat, and see how we go from there. That's going to be our best bet for now. There's the Thanos and Soulstone. Interesting. Oh, Luke Cage actually counters that. Beautiful. Interesting. Silver Surfer still can come in clutch here. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay. So it'll be 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. I think what we're going to have to try and do is still play Absorbing Man, but still play Silver Surfer at the same time. This is going to be scary, but I'm going to try this out. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to try this and see how we go, because they could have an Alive play. 
Red Hulk. Okay. Come on, Absorbing Man. Let's go. Yes! Oh! Incredible. Even with their Blob and Club Sidian and their Thanos, we still made them good. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. Oh, that is fantastic. I'm loving it. Oh, man. Luke Cage, you are absolutely shining fantastically today. Oh, man. Let's keep it cooking. Let's do one more. I'm going to do one more for funsies and see how we go. Let's get all these missions unlocked real quick. Let's keep it going. All right. Let's see what we can end on. Win or loss, it does not matter, but we've had a lot of fun today. Welcome dot, dot, dot. And welcome to the party. Mechanical Stegron. Actually, excuse me. Stegron 2099. Welcome. Oh dear. Nowhere could be a bit of a problem. Not for Sarah, but for my on reveal cards. Are you Thanos? No. Oh, we've got a swarm. I mean, sure. I'll play that on the left side just for some power. <laughs> just for some power. We need power anyway, so that's all good. Oh, okay, they got the cable, so that's going to be very interesting for us. Sinister London, interesting. I don't think I'm going to play Silver Surfer just yet, but I will definitely play Luke Cage on the left. I'm going to try it. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. So Sinister London at nowhere. We do have the magic. That is interesting. I'm actually going to play Magic, because this could turn out very good for us later on. We'll go Magic into Sarah, so that way we can reduce our costs. We've lost our Brood, unfortunately. Oh, oh, I know what you're doing. No way. No way. I'm sorry, you're not going to do anything like that against me. <laughs> that was a cheeky move. Very cheeky move. Right. And what we will do here, need, we need to at least spread some power. So I'm going to go for a Sarah play. We need to get this Sarah out for sure. That's fine. Take what you need. Even if you take a wall, that's okay. Do we get wall? We've got Iron Heart though, so that's not too bad. I think what we will do here is we'll go with the Iron Heart. And I think we'll go into the Silver Surfer and see how we go from there. We could be a little bit behind still, but that's okay. Oh. Gee, this is very close to interesting silver surfer still doesn't cut it here but we could go for a white tiger they didn't get out odin that copies that and that copies that double silver surfer play is interesting so there'll be eight nine seven eight nine ten and then we can try for a white tiger yeah why not let's give it a whirl I could do an Odin on the right, but I'm not considering it. Oh, Gladiator. Oh dear. We're in trouble. Yep. I had a feeling that might be the case. Oh, that's a shame. We tried very hard here. <laughs> Come on. Can we still do this? Oh, one point off. That's unfortunate. Even with the White Tiger play, that was close. GG. That was incredibly close. I'll give him that one. Very good job, sir. Very good. So I think, I think what we should have done, actually, is play Absorbing Man on the right, and then played White Tiger in the middle. Oh yeah, silly me, that was my mistake. Oh well, we learned today, and that's all right, we had a blast, excellent. We moved up a little bit in the rank, and that is good for us. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful time today with the Toxic Space Serving Surfing deck. Thank you again, Cabby26, for the inspiration and the idea. Until next time, guys, hopefully you had a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next Marvel Snap video. Peace.